Hi everyone, so I've just come to share with you my latest journal and this one's a little bit different. I was inspired by, um, is it Sheena I think her name is and it's uh, Luna Rosal, Rosal I think. Um, she, it, the covers that she does, she kind of does like double covers sometimes and um, I thought I would do one of them. So that's where the cover was inspired from and then it's just my kind of usual thing all the way through. A few butterflies, of course. <laughs> um, so I'm calling this adventure. Um, I've used lots of digital kits. I have used from Tracy Fox, Artie Mays, My Porch Prints, The Old Design Shop, Tsunami Rose. And if there's anyone else, I will mention that as I go through. So uh, it's a Travers notebook size, which measures eight and a quarter by four and three quarters. So just a teeny, bean, teeny weeny bit. Um, wider in the length I normally keep them at four and a half but this one turned out this size um there is 60 pages front and back and this will be listed in my shop if you're interested and you'll find the links for that below so that's the back and that is the front oh i've also got a couple of little buttons here um on the tails of the wax linen thread uh so instead of the eyelet being on there it's on here and it's just closed with obviously the eyelet and some string so that opens up let me make sure i'm in frame so that opens up and we've got a little pocket inside there <clears throat> with um a little um like index rolodex card i think it is um i got it online um i didn't punch the holes but that's that, that goes in there. These papers are from Artie Mays and the front ones, well, we can't really see it now, but this um, little bit that you can see in the background is the old design shop and the postcard is from Tsunami Rose. I printed that out on my full memo and this is from Artie Mays as well. So um, the ephemera is all muddled up. Oh, I did use some things from um, Collective Chickadee. Um, who is on YouTube. She had given away some freebies the other week when she was making a little tri-folder thing. So you can go over and check that out. So I've just made a, a side pocket there. So you can see that obviously pokes up and down at the bottom there. And inside here, I've got um, a cabinet card and then some ephemera from uh, Tsunami Rose. The inside of um, this cover is just plain and then here I just made a little pocket and the background paper there is from Tracy Fox and I believe that's called Silhouette and inside here we've just got a plethora of um, ephemera. Uh, this is from uh, Collective uh, Chickadee, Chickadee, is it Chickadee? I think I'm hoping I'm not messing that up but her name's Eva or Eve. So you'll probably mess that up as well now. Um, this is from Artie Mays. This is from <clears throat> Collective Collective Chickadee. And this is the old design shop. Now some of the things I use from the old design shop, some of it's from the blog, and then some of it is from our Etsy store as well. So I've made a pocket here using some of the background pages from one of Artie Mays' kits, and I can't remember which one it was now. Um, can't remember but what I did do is I went through some of the kits that I have and I was just specifically looking for things with blue in it so um, that's my cat just jumped up on my shed roof <laughs> uh, sometimes he just sits there and stares at me I've got some photographs I won't put them on Facebook he um there's obviously there's some stuff sitting outside <clears throat> the front of the window of my shed and all of a sudden he's just sat there staring at me it's a bit weird <laughs> but yeah this is from again the old design shop that is i think that's from the old design shop and that's from her blog uh these um either etsy or pinterest finds i can't remember i popped that in there and then we got that lady they've just been backed onto coffee dyed paper <clears throat> and then we've just got some music paper ticket here from Artie Mays, Little Butterfly, there's book pages, vintage printable um, Italian music paper. This is the old design shop. <clears throat> here we've just got um, some ephemera there from 
Tsunami Rose. This is from My Porch Prince. I absolutely adore that. Um, <clears throat> she's got two kits. Uh, one's butterflies and they're a little bit grungy. And this one is the the shabby, um, the shabby chic style one. So it's two different kits. I've got both of them. But that was from the shabby one. Again, Tracy Fox. Um, here I've done a top tuck. And I've just done some layering, got some music paper, there's some vintage uh, paper here, tickets, some cheesecloth and a butterfly. And do you know what I haven't done? I've just realised I haven't put my little blings on all the butterflies. So I will do that when I finish this video. This is a, um, I can't read it because I haven't got my glasses. In fact, I need new glasses. But this is a like a vintage uh, love letter. Um, find that online. This is from Artie Mays. Another cabinet card, isn't she? Isn't she cute? Love the way she's got her little legs crossed and her little boots and everything. She looks so cute. So that goes in there. Another book page. Some Edith Holden. This is from the old design shop. And here we just have um, a tag that I've made, and that is from my porch prints. Tracy Fox and here is this is from uh, Collective Chickadee as well and that was either Etsy or um, Pinterest I can't remember I've got lots of things in files and sometimes I mess them all up mix them all up sorry um, so that's the buttons I um, mix them all up to to suit the things that I make. So they're not necessarily all in the right folders anymore. Um, pocket here from Artie Mays. Uh, the background paper, I should say. Uh, it's all been sewn onto cardstock. Uh, music paper tickets here from Artie Mays. Butterfly from Artie Mays. And then in here, again, we've got um, a postcard, which, again, I can't remember where that came from. Uh, this is... Artie Maze. This is a uh, collective chickadee and another love letter that I found. And that's actually got a date on it. <clears throat> it's not original. Um, 1938, August 29, 1938. And that says, I think that says Greenborough. I think that's MC, so I'm not sure if that means, whatever that means, I don't know what it means. I don't know if it, because it was New York, it would be NY, I think, I'm not sure. Um, <clears throat> uh, tag that I made, another journaling card from My Porch Prints. There is tons of places to journal, to stick things in, to write on the backs of everything. Here I've just done another pocket, and this again is using... <coughs> excuse me um some paper from Artie Mays um because it had the blue in it I used it and some ephemera from Tsunami Rose and on the background here we've got some tickets from Artie Mays that's a Tim Holtz ticket butterfly some cheesecloth a little bit of um vintage page vintage ledger there uh tag from the old design shop another um cabinet card, I couldn't think what that was called. This is from Artie Mays. It will be okay. It sure will. Um, Tracy Fox, journaling pages. Oh yeah, and I put tabs on the edges as well. Uh, big pocket that I made. This is from Artie Mays as well. That's her um, positive quotes. Uh, Pinterest or Etsy, I can't remember. Artie Mays. It's amazing how you remember where everything comes from. The old design shop. I use them a lot. I like them. I do. I do. You can tell because I use certain things a lot. <laughs> uh, that's Artie Mays. And then the back. And then in here we've got this side tuck. We've got um, a lady sitting at the table doing some writing. Uh, this is from Collective Chickadee. This is a junior high school. Um, again, I can't read all the bits because I haven't got my glasses and it looks all blurry to me now. Uh, Tsunami Rose. 
Yeah, if the writing's really tiny, I mean, I can read that. <laughs> but I couldn't read that. Really need to get my eyes tested, get that done when everything calms down. A uh, little journaling card here. I think I found that online. I don't know, I can't remember. And that goes in that little pocket there. This is from Artie Mays. This is from Artie Mays. And then the back here, I've just put another postcard on there. So that is that. I kind of like how that come out. I like that double pocket thing going on. Not double pocket, double cover. So, um, like I said, the cover was inspired by Sheena from Luna Rosso Russo. Um, I will link her below so you can go for her. She makes beautiful journals. Um, and I've mentioned who, what kits I used throughout here. And this will be listed for sale. Hope you're all having a great weekend. Um, if you have any questions, just ask. And thanks for watching. Bye.